We begin tonight with Utah's battle against COVID. The number of cases in our state continues to climb. Health officials are reporting another 1,700 Utahns have been diagnosed with COVID-19. Health officials also confirm another eight Utahns have died from the virus. One of those, though, happened before September 1st. As for Utahns who've been hospitalized with the virus, that number climbed to just under 600. That number of hospitalizations, 592, is the third highest since the beginning of the pandemic. Yeah, it is that kind of overwhelming hospital burden which led to crisis standards of care throughout Idaho yesterday. New specialist Jed Bull live for us tonight. And Jed, just how close is Utah to that kind of crisis? Yeah, Mike, an infectious diseases physician here at Intermountain Healthcare says we're close, but we're not there yet. He says earlier in the pandemic, when we were at this brink, that the public helped turn back that surge, and he's urging that again now. Our ICUs are over capacity. Dr. Todd Vento says that's statewide. They're strategically moving patients to avoid the triaging Idaho has been forced to do. Crisis standards of care um, mean you don't have the resources or the capabilities to provide the level of care that you would normally provide. So you now shift your focus on, I'm going to try to do the greatest good for the greatest number. They focus first on patients most likely to survive. A 90-year-old patient with cancer and COVID would not be treated as soon as a 60-year-old with COVID. You try to do the greatest good for the greatest number by prioritizing based on likelihood of survival. Last November, the state released its crisis standards of care. The governor never had to invoke them. It was, it was heartbreaking to see what all of those healthcare providers were going through uh, during, during the surge last year. And unfortunately, we're getting close to that again. Top doctors at Utah's hospitals, the Utah Department of Health, and the Utah Hospital Association would have to ask Governor Cox to invoke crisis standards. When Utah was at the brink before, the vaccine arrived, and people wore masks and social distanced to reduce hospitalizations. This surge is different. We have a lot of people who are vaccinated, but hardly anyone wearing masks and keeping their distance these days, which means that we are going to just see a lot of spread of the disease. If your community is not vaccinated, if your community doesn't distance, if your community doesn't wear masks, there are going to be more cases. It's going to overload the hospital. And, you know, some folks don't like hearing that, but that's just the facts. Dr. Vento says that the best way to avoid becoming part of this surge in the hospitals is to join the growing number of Utahns who are getting vaccinated.